Hi, I'm Bryony. Welcome to Yoga with Bryony. Today is day four of your 30 day yoga and Pilates challenge. So if you're ready to feel strong, alive in your body and empowered, slowly roll out your yoga mat and let's get started. Hiya, welcome back today, I hope you're well. Okay, so we're gonna start the practice today in Tadasana Mountain Posture. So you can bring the feet together or hip width distance apart, whichever feels comfortable for you today. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna focus on our feet, making that connection with the mat. Okay, so first of all, bring, the, bring your weight into the outer edges of your feet and then the inner edges and then plant all four corners of the feet down followed by your toes great good job okay and we're just going to take a moment to bring awareness to your toes so slowly lift up the toes and spread them as wide as you can this is great for improving your posture and your balance bringing you more awareness to your feet inhale in and then exhale slowly bring the toes down great good job we'll just do that one more time okay so inhale reach the toes up and then this time exhale first of all we're going to bring the big toes down followed by the second third fourth fifth <laughs> okay great good job that's a great exercise to do every day okay so drawing energy up from the arches of your feet lifting up your kneecaps toning your quads engaging your pelvic floor we're going to slowly bring the hands to heart center and then we're going to take a moment here to connect to the mat to come into the present moment and to settle into our space so perhaps you can close your eyes or soften your gaze tucking the chin in slightly and keeping the shoulders away from the ears and perhaps you can start cultivating an ujjayi, audible, oceanic breath to help calm the nervous system, anchor the mind and to come into the present moment. So when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and we're going to reach the fingertips up. As you reach the fingertips up, lift the toes up as well, drawing energy up from the arches of your feet. Exhaling, floating the fingertips down and the toes come down too. Great, good job. Okay, so slowly bend the knees. Inhale, rise up, lifting the toes up as well. The fingertips kiss overhead, exhaling hands to heart center great good job okay so inhale rise up toes lift up as well open up the palms open up the chest fingertips float down toes come down bending the knees inhale rise up toes rise up fingertips kiss overhead exhaling hands to heart center great good job okay so this time we're going to point the fingertips down Bend the knees, open up the chest, your heart space. Fingertips kiss overhead. Exhaling, floating the fingertips down one more time. Inhaling, bending the knees, pressing away from your foundation. Rise up, toes rise up too. Hands to heart center, this time exhaling down through the midline, coming all the way down into forward fold. Uttanasana, bend the knees as generously as you wish. Inhale, halfway lift. Palms come to the tops of the thighs. Hug the elbows into the side body. Exhale, soften and fold. Great, good job. Okay, so inhale, we're going to step the right foot back, coming into runner's lunge. Exhaling, sending the left hip crease back, coming into pyramid variation and coming onto the right tip toes. Inhaling, coming into runner, look forwards. Coming up onto, onto your fingers, be light. Exhaling, pyramid. Inhale, runner. Engaging your pelvic floor, pressing away from your foundation. 
squeezing the inner thighs together. We're going to inhale in, reach the fingers forwards and up, coming into high lunge. Lengthening the tailbone down, exhaling, sending the arms back and then looking forwards into your imaginary pond, coming into Thunderbolt. Inhale, rise up, lengthening the tailbone down, high lunge. Exhaling, sending the arms back, coming into Thunderbolt, finding that beautiful line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail. Great, good job. Okay, we'll just repeat that one more time. Inhale, rise up, coming into high lunge, lengthening the tailbone down, exhaling, sending the arms back, looking into your imaginary pond, keep the shoulders away from the ears, and then slowly rain the fingertips down, plant the right palm on the ground, inhale, reach the left fingertips up towards the sky, exhaling, plant the palm, step the left foot back, coming into plank posture. Wrists are directly underneath the shoulders. Elbow creases are shining forward. Tuck the chin in slightly. Draw navel into spine. Feeling strong in this posture. And we're just going to do some plank dips. Okay, this is great for your core strength, your posture and your balance. Great for strengthening the back. So we're going to inhale in. Exhaling, we're sending the hips over to the right. Inhale, centre. Exhaling over to the left. Exhaling over to the left. Inhale, center, exhaling over to the right. Inhale, center, exhaling over to the left. And then we'll just do two more. Okay, coming back to plank. And then when you're ready, slowly shift forwards, look forwards, hugging the elbows into the side body. Exhaling halfway down, hold. And then inhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, rise up, coming into Cobra, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, soften and fall. One more time. Inhale, rise up, Cobra, open up the chest. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, soften and fall. We'll do it one more time. Pressing into your foundation, hugging the elbows into the side body, rise up. Exhaling, soften and fall. Great, good job. Okay, curl the back toes under, lifting up the kneecaps, turning up the quads, coming into plank. Exhaling those hips back into downward dog. Taking a moment here to pedal out the feet. Broadening through the shoulders. Pressing away from your foundation. Taking a deep inhalation in through the nose. And a long exhalation out through the mouth. One more time. A deep inhalation in through the nose. And a long refreshing exhalation out through the mouth. Great, good job. Okay, so anchor the left foot down. Lift the right leg up to hip height, so hips are level. And then we're going to inhale in the right foot up to, up to the front. One more time, coming into runner's lunge, coming up onto the fingertips. Inhaling in, exhaling pyramid. So this time sending the right hip crease back. Inhale runner, exhaling pyramid. So this time Sending the right hip crease back, coming onto the left tip toes. Inhaling runner. Exhaling pyramid. Inhaling runner. Exhaling pyramid. Remember to keep a slight micro bend in the front knee. Inhaling runner. And then we're going to step the left foot forward. Coming one more time into Uttanasana. Bending the knees as generously as you wish. Inhale, press away from your foundation, root to rise, open up your chest, open up your heart space, fingertips, kiss overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart centre. Great, good job. Okay, so reach the fingertips up, open up the palms, exhaling, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, this time palms come to the fronts of the shins, tuck the chin in slightly, find length in the spine. Exhale, soften and fall. Okay, inhaling the left toes back, coming into runner's lunge, come up onto the fingertips, be light on your fingers. Exhaling, this time we're going to send the right hip crease back, coming onto the left tip toes, coming into pyramid variation. Inhale, rise up, runner's lunge, come up onto your fingertips. Exhaling, pyramid. Remember to keep a slight micro bend in the front knee. Inhale, rise up, runner. Exhaling, pyramid. 
Inhale, rise up, runner. So pressing away from your foundation, engage your pelvic floor, squeezing the inner thighs together. Inhale, reach the fingertips forwards and up. Coming into high lunge. Lengthening the tailbone down. Engage your pelvic floor. Exhaling the palms back. Coming into Thunderbolt one more time, looking into your imaginary pond. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Feeling strong in this posture. Exhaling, Thunderbolt. Look forwards. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhaling, Thunderbolt. Okay, great, good job. One more time. Inhale, high lunge. And this time, slowly rain the fingertips down. Plant the left palm on the ground. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. Exhaling, plant the palm. Step the right foot back one more time, coming into plank posture. Feeling strong in this posture. Wrists underneath the shoulders. Find that beautiful line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail. Okay, so this time we're going to do mindful mountain climbers, but we're going to bring the knee to the opposite elbow. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale the right knee to the left elbow. Exhale back, inhale the left knee to the right elbow, exhale back and then just go backwards and forwards in your own time. Moving gracefully, mindfully, consciously. We're going to stay here for five, you're amazing, four, keep going, three, press away from your yoga mat, two, one, stay in plank. Okay, so this time we're going to inhale, come forward, exhaling, slowly lowering down to the mat, pressing away from your foundation, coming onto the tops of your feet, we're going to inhale, rise up, cobra, opening up your chest, exhaling, softening, fold, great, good job. Pressing away from your foundation, hugging your elbows into your side body. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Exhaling, softening and fall. Great, last time. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, softening and fall. Curl the toes under, press away from your mat. Come up to plank. Exhaling, the hips back. Coming one more time into downward dog. Pressing through your palms evenly, broadening through the shoulders. And take a moment here to pedal the feet out, taking a deep inhalation in through the nostrils and a long exhalation out through the mouth. One more time, deep inhalation in through the nose, long exhalation out through the mouth. And then when you're ready, slowly make your way to the front of the mat. You can come in, bring one foot in front of the other, baby footsteps or you can look forwards and hop. Coming one more time into Uttanasana. Pressing into your foundation, inhale, root to rise. Open up your chest, fingertips kiss overhead. Exhaling, namaste, tadasana. <laughs> Great, good job. Okay, so this time we're gonna bring the feet together. And then we're gonna bring the fingertips down by your side. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhaling, slowly sending the hips back, bringing the knees overneath the toes. You can reach your arms forwards like this, or if you prefer, lower the arms. Feeling strong in chair posture, Utkatasana. Bringing the hands to heart center. Inhale in, exhaling, we're gonna send the left elbow over the right thigh. Remembering to keep the knees together because the left will want to come forwards. And then inhale, slowly bring your sternum towards your thumbs. And if you'd like more of a challenge here, your gaze is looking, you can bring your gaze to look down and slowly lift the left foot up, coming into flamingo. Okay, so when you're ready, inhaling, bring the hands back to heart center. Exhaling, forward, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach the fingertips up. Fingertips kiss overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Great, good job. Okay, so one more time, bring the arms by the side. Reach the fingertips up. Sending your weight into your hips. Bending your knees, knees are tracking over your toes. 
and you can either keep your arms here or bring them further down if that feels better for you and then when you're ready bring your hands to heart center so this time inhale in exhaling the right elbow over the left thigh remember the knees should be keeping together inhale in exhaling bring sternum to thumbs look to the side okay so when you're ready inhale in exhaling coming into forward fold great good job pressing away from your foundation inhale root to right exhaling hands to heart center great good job bring the arms to your side inhaling exhaling slowly rolling down bringing chin to chest slowly coming down onto the mat and then we're going to come into a toe balance so come up onto the tiptoes knees are together bring the thighs together engage your pelvic floor and then slowly bring your hands to namaste finding that beautiful line from the base of your spine all the way to the crown of your head so when you're ready reach the fingertips forwards engaging your pelvic floor inhaling exhaling we're going to send the right fingertips across the left arm across the chest and towards the back of a mat and you can look forwards to the sides or in time past your right shoulder inhaling exhaling bring the fingertips down back together bring the palms back together and repeat on the other side so inhaling exhaling we're going to send the left fingertips across the right arm open up the chest send the left fingertips back look back if that feels good for you inhaling exhaling bringing the hands together hands to heart center and then slowly using core control slowly lower down onto the mat great good job okay so feet are hip width distance apart reach the fingers forward spreading the fingers out wide inhaling exhaling we're going to slowly lower down to the sacrum inhale rise up exhaling lower inhale rise up exhaling lower inhale rise up exhaling this time all the way down onto the mat great good job hug your knees into your chest and just slowly rock the knees gently from side to side massaging the lower spine you're doing amazing i hope you're feeling amazing okay so then when you're ready bring the arms to shoulder height with the palms facing down feel that engagement with your lower spine and the mat and then hug your knees in towards your chest and then inhaling we're going to send the, the knees over to the right the most important thing when you're doing this exercise is to keep your shoulders glued to the mat inhale back to center exhaling the knees over to the left inhale back to center exhaling over to the right inhale back to center exhaling over to the left inhale back to center if you want more of a challenge bring the knees over the hips and then bring the sh shins parallel to the ceiling pointing the toes so we're going to inhale in exhaling the knees over to the right pressing into your palms inhale back to center exhaling over to your left inhale back to center exhaling over to your right remembering to keep the shoulders glued to the mat inhale back to center exhaling over to the left inhale back to center if you want more of a challenge you can reach the toes up towards the sky inhale in exhaling sending the toes over to the right hand side of the mat inhale back to center exhaling over to the left inhale back to center we'll do it one more time to each side exhaling over to the right inhale back to center exhaling over to the left great good job inhale back to center hug your knees in towards your chest give yourself a hug Walking gently here from side to side then bring the palms behind the thighs bring the legs overhead inhaling exhaling we're going to rock forwards inhaling back 
Uh, exhaling forwards, just going to take a moment here to massage the length of the spine. Inhaling back, exhale forwards. Inhaling back, exhaling forwards. Great, good job. Inhaling back, exhaling forwards. And then bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Arms are by your sides with your palms facing down. Imagine there's a block in between your knees. And when you're ready, pressing away from your foundation, inhale in, exhaling, engage your pelvic floor, draw navel to spine, slowly lift the hips up. And then when you're ready, we're gonna inhale in, exhaling out. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, we're gonna lift the left knee up, exhaling lower. Inhale the right knee up, exhaling lower. Remember to engage your pelvic floor. Inhale the left knee up, exhale lower, and then we just go from side to side, pressing into your foundation. Okay, so we just do it three more times to each side because it's so good for you here. Strengthening your lower back, it will help to improve your posture and your balance and we'll just do it one more time to each side okay so when you're ready inhaling exhaling slowly lower down great good job one more time take a moment here to hug your knees into your chest rocking gently from side to side and then when you're ready bring the soles of the feet back to the mat and this time we're going to come into bridge, Satupandasana. So walk the feet to the buttocks. Arms are by your sides. Knees are hip width distance apart. Bring the shoulders away from the ears. We're going to inhale in. One more time, exhaling. Engage your pelvic floor. Draw navel to spine. And slowly lift your hips up. As you do, bring your fingertips up and overhead. And then when you're ready, inhaling, exhaling, slowly lowering down. Feeling that beautiful massage on your spine. One more time, remember to hold your imaginary block. Inhaling, exhale, engaging your pelvic floor. Your abdominal muscles rise back. Exhaling, slowly lowering down, vertebra by vertebra. When you're ready, inhaling, exhaling, engaging your pelvic floor, your lower abdominal muscles rise up, bring the fingertips back, feel that amazing opening in your chest and shoulders, exhaling slowly lowering the fingertips down and the hips, one more time, hug your knees into your chest, rock gently from side to side, bring the palms behind your thighs and one more time we're just going to rock up and down the length of the spine, inhaling, Exhaling forward, inhaling back, exhaling forward. Great, good job. Okay, so last exercise of the day, we're going to transition into tabletop. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees are directly underneath the hips. Spread the fingertips out wide, tucking the chin in slightly. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to pivot on the left knee and bring the left toes towards the left side of the mat. Left wrist is under left shoulder. Extend the right leg out. Stacking the hips and then pressing into your right foot. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, reach the right fingertips up. Reach up and then we're gonna lift the right foot. So now there should be a long line from your right heel all the way to your hip. So stack your hips and then when you're ready, bring your right fingertips to your right temple. And then when you're ready, engage your pelvic floor. And we're inhaling, we're going to reach the right foot forward, flexing the right toes, exhaling, sending the right toes back and pointing the toes. Inhale forwards, flexing the toes, exhaling back. Inhale forward. Exhaling out through the mouth. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. We'll do it one more time. 
Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Great, good job. Okay, so slowly bring the right hand back down and then bring the knees together. And we'll just take a moment here to sit back on the heels. Great, good job. Okay, so last exercise. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that this time. This time with the right knee. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. So this time we're gonna pivot on the right knee, reach the right toes towards the right hand side of the mat. Right wrist is under right shoulder, lengthen the left leg out, coming onto the left foot, and then stacking the hips, inhale, reach the right fingertips up, look up, and then when you're ready, slowly lift your left leg up, and imagine you're pressing into an imaginary wall, and bring your left fingertips to your left temple. And when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, bring the left leg forwards whilst flexing the toes, Exhaling, slowly sweep the left, back, left leg back and pointing the toes. Inhaling, flex, bring the left leg forwards. Exhaling back. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Great, good job. Okay, so slowly come back to tabletop. Slowly come back onto your heels. And we're gonna finish the practice by slowly bringing the hands to heart center. Reach the thumbs up to the third eye. The light in me bows and respects the light in you. Inhaling, exhaling, bow, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for day four. <laughs> I really hope you've had a good time today and I hope you're feeling stronger, more alive and more empowered. And I really look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day five. So take care, enjoy the rest of your day and see you tomorrow. Bye.